Issues surrounding bird scooters are making their way before Metro Council. Two ordinances are on first reading tonight. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan has been following this story. Kyle, these bills lay out a format for the scooter company to be able to operate in Nashville, right? Right, and it's not just scooters, but the potential for bikes too. This could be used to manage bird, but also other companies that are similar. Just the fact that I'm in there fun. I mean, what I do is I come out at lunchtime, I'll go take them down to the Gulch or Germantown or wherever I want to go. I can be there like five minutes. I'm not sweating. The saga of bird scooters in Nashville continues. I was just up on Demumbry and it was just like a quick five minute trip down here. So um, I like the ease of it. The newcomers have just about a month under their belt in Music City and they've certainly made waves. I saw that they did like get a cease and desist recently, but I mean, it's weird. Like even though they had the cease and desist, I feel like they've been coming out more often. Like the people of Nashville seem to like them. But the lack of oversight, the manner in which they appeared, caused not only legal action, but it caused Metro Council here? members to take a look. Well, I think safety is like the number one thing that I think they're probably worried about. Two ordinances are up in council tonight. One has to do with creating a pilot program, a way to permit companies with both dockless scooters and bikes. It includes a provision that each vehicle should show riders three rules. That a rider has to yield to pedestrians on the sidewalk. The bike lanes in the city, I think if there's just more bike lanes, um, it would work out really well. That helmet use is encouraged, and that while riding on the road, the rider must obey all of the rules of the road. I think it's just a neat concept, and I literally this is my first time riding one. People admit right now the rules for use are blurry. Honestly, like I've ridden by cops before. They haven't really done anything, so I don't think they know how to deal with it either. I think it's kind of just everybody's kind of up in limbo about what to do with it. And council members say they're a little irked about the way the company went about their Nashville launch. And now that they're here, other companies are chomping at the bit to get here as well. You know, we're trying to save off an avalanche of scooters and bicycles just flooding the streets before we can get a handle on how we want to regulate them as a city. Besides safety, there are provisions for Metro to gather data from Bird. Really easy to get around. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> More future companies with similar products. As long as they're here, I'm going to use them. Right, and it is possible that that could happen here. Uh, Denver, for example, has both Bird and Lime. That's another similar scooter service. They're dealing with some similar issues as we are. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle.